Good morning. As we start off this new week today, we're reading from Psalm 118. Uh, I'm going to read the first seven voice, verses from the New Living Translation. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. We could just stop there. Not everything in our life is always good, feels good, looks good, seems good. But the psalmist is saying, hey, give thanks to the Lord, because you, what you face may not be good, but He is good. His faithful love, His mercy endures forever. Let the congregation of Israel repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, His faithful love endures forever. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and rescued me. The Lord is for me, so I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who go after me, who have evil against me. The psalm was just saying, listen, start today off, start your week off with thanks. Why? For he is good. His mercy endures forever. He is with you. He is for you. He is your helper. He is your rescuer. He is your way maker. Because of who he is, I will not be afraid. I will not live in fear. Because the psalmist says, hey, he is for me. So I will not be afraid. And so fear does try and overtake us. I will not live in fear. I will keep on giving him thanks. I will keep repeating it for he is good. And I encourage you today, whether you're single, married, um, whatever, living by yourself or with other family or your family's not near you, just declare his goodness over your family and over your life, even if you cannot see it. It's a, it's, it's, it's a way of going, God, everything in my world is not fine. You know that. Sometimes things are upside down and I'm facing anxiety. I'm, I can't see your goodness, but I will declare you are good because as I declare you are good, what I'm saying is I'm putting my trust in you. I may not have all the answers. I may not understand, but I will trust you and I will declare you are good and I will thank you for your mercy. I will thank you for your unfailing love because without your mercy, and without your unfailing love, I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. And so, as the psalmist encourages me to do it, I want to give you thanks. I'll give you thanks this morning. I'll give you thanks during my day. And when I rest my head on the pillow, help me to remember to give you thanks again. And remember, sometimes the word for thanks means with outstretched hand. Just, with outstretched, I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I'm acknowledging who you are. You are good. Even though I don't understand, what I do understand is you are good and your mercy endures forever. So I will give you thanks in Jesus' name. Like, let me encourage you, give him thanks today. Take a minute to say, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Just begin to listen for all the things you're being thankful for. Um, to just so it lifts your heart, lifts your spirit, lifts your mind, lifts, lifts your soul. Just declare who he is. Declare his goodness over your life and over your family today in Jesus' name.